Hi, I'm Christian Sword, host of this YouTube channel, The Sword Files, full-time YouTuber. I'm here with my wife, Naomi Victoria Carbanger, and she has a major in tourism. Go ahead, dear. Welcome to one of Megaliah's deepest caves. Well, it's deep. It's about 900 meters. What is that sound, by the way? It's water. Water. And what does water do? Water forms this whole cave. And it forms many other formations, correct? Yes. So like what? Stalactites and stalagmites. So stalactites are the ones that trip from the ceiling, and stalagmites are the ones that arise from the bottom. All of this is through action of water dripping through the cave and reacting with carbon dioxide, hence its calcite formations. And when a stalagmite and a stalactite meet together, it forms what we call a column. So this column is over millions of years of water action and it's where the stalactite and the stalagmite meet. And as you can see, the width of this column is also pretty wide, which means this has taken millions of years. And also it takes millions of years for the whole thing to form. But there's an exception with Megalia. Caves over here take a shorter time to form because of the presence of large amounts of rain. And uh, yeah, because we are we have the rainiest place on earth. Rainiest place on earth. Yeah. So with that, what kind of life forms can you expect down here? So what you can see are cave, uh, the cave life forms that include are uh, spiders. Many feet, you can see tiny snails, lots of the snails, and you can see some bacteria on the walls that some people mistake for gold because they're all shiny and gold or silver. And you can have fishes too in river caves that are huge. By the way, Megalia has the biggest subterranean uh, fish. And these fishes are actually blind because they've evolved over time and they don't need light, so they don't have people, they don't have eyes. So they're completely blind, but they can sense through vibrations and water movements. And I know we're going to show a clip of the spiders that we saw when we first entered the cave. Some as big as your face, but they can get bigger, can't they? They can get bigger, yes. Uh, we can find huntsmen over here, cave huntsmen. And they're not poisonous, you can also find tarantulas, which are bigger, but you have to look closely for them, because they're not available everywhere. But they're all cold. Yeah, they're all cold. Yeah. And they're very scared of human beings, and they won't hurt any human beings, you know. But they're not poisonous. They're not poisonous. I don't know about the tarantulas, but tarantulas are normally not poisonous. But the huntsmen they get a little bit poisonous. And they're all scared of humans. They're all scared of humans. So if you decide to come caving down here or anywhere, if you see a spider, then it's like you're scared of humans, right? Yeah. yeah. You'll see them run away, so you don't have to worry about them jumping on you. <laughs> so besides being caught for poison, do people have anything to worry about coming down here if it's their first time? Yeah, not really. I mean, people tend to find caves unfriendly places, but as you enter, as what you've seen today, it's about the thrill of stepping to the unknown, you know? This is always dark to me that you're stepping into. So that's the thrill of caving. If you're not afraid of stepping into the unknown, then caving is for you. If you don't like darkness, if you don't like stepping to the unknown, then caving is definitely not for you. And I would say that it is definitely the unknown. I've been down a couple of abandoned mines down in Arizona. Arizona has plenty of them. But I'll tell you what, coming down into a cave for the first time is a first because the formations and the sound of underwater will it's longer too. But um, do you have any tips for anyone who's looking to start this hobby? Try visiting nearby caves, you know. Uh, not just the big caves, go to small caves too. Practice some crawling inside caves, see if you do well and all that. And uh, yeah, just that. It's very easy to get into this hobby. Yeah. Cool. You heard it from my wife. <laughs> How was your first week experience? Excellent. She wouldn't let me go down a couple of holes. <laughs> I'm very exploratory, so. Uh, but we stuck with our guys. It's good to stay with the team for the first few times. We stuck with our guys. When you're more confident with yourself and your game, then you can go and just go yourself. But always, always notify people. And always go with the buddy. Uh, that you're going to, okay? Because there's no reception down here. And when you like guys, that's probably it for you. So they don't have to send in this. Carry a backup. Yeah, carry a backup. Like mm -hmm. And go with the buddy. Go, go with the buddy who's used to gaming, who knows the game and all that. Okay. Yeah. Anything to add? Yeah, that's about it. That's about it for now. Okay. I'll be taking her YouTube channel, of course. She has quite a few outdoor videos uh, along with mine, and uh, we make the team, we make the duo. Thanks for watching this video.